Hail, legions of the sixth ray, I commend thee for thy presence in the immaculate heart. Come hither then, for we shall deliver unto earth the judgment of the Lord Christ in this hour. Thus, ye who have gathered here for this spring conclave, know well that the advent of spring does bring the sign of the Lord Christ. Therefore, in the earth, across the face of the earth, there is no town or street or city, no place of residence where the angels of cosmic Christ, peace of my bands, where the legions of Uriel do not enter. Therefore, as it has been in all past ages, people of earth have had unending opportunity to confess their wrongdoings, to right the wrongs they have done, to enter into a communion with the Lord Christ, the living Savior. Thus, we might say the ax does fall. This is the hour then, beloved, when some are taken and others are left where some are bankrupt and others may yet have time to fulfill their vows early made before God, yet long forgotten. Thus, my coming is by the call of the Lord Christ. I have come, beloved, that he might know the deliverance of his people and of the tribes who mourn. Thus, beloved, you shall see this judgment outplayed day by day, for not a day shall pass unto the end of this year when there shall not be those who are judged. And so, beloved, this will be a clearing of the earth, the atmosphere, it will be an unburdening of the planetary body and of your bodies who have borne the weight of sin of fallen angels and godless ones. Thus, beloved, we enter a new hope, an era of peace, an era when those who shine brightly as the stars in the firmament may show their light might assist millions to find this path of the transfiguration, the resurrection, and the ascension. I, Uriel, then have declared the hour of the judgment for those whose time is up. Therefore, this is a purging of the earth, and you shall see it, you shall know it, and you shall be a part of the work of the angels as you give daily to the end of this year the judgment call dictated to you by the Lord Christ. Call for the judgment of these ones and empower angels to do your will. For ye know that the Lord Christ has said that ye shall judge angels. How much more shall ye judge fallen angels Know this then, beloved, that the hour of the travail of the woman and her seed must come to an end, as all things in this earth that are not of God must come to an end, and with that end, the glory of the new day, the glory of the gift of God, the glory of the gift of the man-child, and the opening of the way, if ye would claim it and have it, declare it, and make it possible, the golden age itself. I am Uriel of the sixth ray, Aurora with me. We bless you and seal you, for this is the hour when we are sent from this altar by holy Kumaras to do the work 
that we have stated. Thus, let the midnight hour show the sign of the Lord's coming, and may the tribes of the earth who have turned against the light know that their judgment is nigh, even at the very door. I am Uriel, and ye shall behold the mighty fall from their seats, and those of Satan be thrown from their pulpits. Ye shall see a mass exodus out of those churches which no longer represent the power of the living Christ. For these are they who have known him from the beginning, and they will search and find, and they will know him in his rightful place in the hearts of all light bearers of the earth. Thus the Lord Christ and the Lord Gautama have ordained this church universal and triumphant for all those who are awakened unto everlasting life through the prophecy of Daniel. In the invincible majesty of our God, I bow to the light within you, and I ask you, to remain vessels of the holy fire, that the fire of God might consume all who are unreal. I place my hand on your forehead, each one. I seal you with the sign of God.